evening all and welcome to Ref Bob's Friday Night Live. Uh, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I'm here. There oh, he is. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all yeah, got you won. You thought, oh, bloody hell, Red Bob's got air at last. Uh, we've yeah. got Jamie with us tonight. So the link is up in the side chat coming up for you now, guys. So if you do want to come and jump in on the stream, um, grab yourself a beer and have a little bit of fun with us. So we are live on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube tonight. Evening to Mark, evening to ZX9R. Andy GSA Tractor, Vinny, uh, Vincent, uh, VJ Biker, and Reese is here as well. And we've got uh, Sammy, who is known as the quiet gamer that rides the Titan. Sammy's going to come in. Uh, Vincent uh, thought I was on the wrong channel for the moment. <laughs> I told you we'd get you. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do a few pranks tonight. Um, it's been a busy week, and we've got Super Sausage coming up. And, of course... The Peaky Biker is going to be on in a minute because I've got his hard drive sitting. I've got his little uh, hard drive sitting down here for him. I've just been and picked up for him. So uh, he wanted something from Milton Keynes. I've just paid for it, picked it up, and I'm going to meet him Sunday and he can have it back. Um, so if you are joining us on the live stream, we must point out these following things. Um, we're live on YouTube, <coughs> Facebook, Instagram. It is over 18s. If it's not for you. <laughs> Hit the red X in the corner, not for children. Adult jokes, C-bombs, F-bombs may occur during the entire show. So if it's not for you, uh, click off. <laughs> Sounded close. Um, if you do want to come on the live stream, don't forget, qualify for coming on the stream. You need to be in our live chat down the side for at least four weeks. If invited on, like Jamie, you've got to have a good camera, good audio. Uh, cameras must be on. So I've got to be able to see your face before you come in. No logos or anything you've got to be live on the camera before you enter the live any drama or issue from the channel uh you'll get put into the side room you get stuck in the green room for a first defense if you lark or joke around or you're a bit of a dick then you are not coming in you're going to get yourself a channel ban and you won't be back and peaky will do exactly the same to you so that is the rules of the show um and if you happen to be from scotland or from wolverhampton or Birmingham, there are subtitles if you can't understand the accents. Um, but it helps if you have a couple of these and then you will understand the accent. So that is how we work it. Um, we've got a lot of guys coming in. We've got all the boys coming in from America in a while as well. So uh, who else we got? Uh, German Jobbies has just joined us as well. Evening, buddy. Mikey's here as well. Good to see you, Mikey. Um, a lot of TikTokers coming over to the YouTube streams on a Friday night and a Wednesday night with Peaky as well. So it's good to see all you boys as well. Uh, welcome along if you haven't been here. Uh, and as Lily says, if you don't like swearing, fuck off now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, day 370 uh, You've got a little hard one to give Pete on Sunday down the super sausage I have indeed yeah. um, Zed head believe it or not um, I've got to find this WhatsApp photo the little bugger um, <laughs> Zed um, If you happen to be in our little WhatsApp motor vloggers group it's it gets very interesting at times mm -hmm. um, with all the stuff that come oh no, no I've skipped past that one because that's the princess Kate we can't have that one <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's yeah Jamie's seen that one. We can't, we can't, we can't have that one up. Uh, <laughs> right, right let me just save. Yeah, I'll just make sure I'm saving the right photo here. Uh, don't want to be putting Princess Kate up, not with the issues that she's got at the moment, but it was a very interesting uh, photo <laughs> that Alkamoto sent out. Thank you very much, Alkamoto. Uh, right, uh, let's just um, lob up this uh, picture. Right, so we're just going to find where the pictures are we'll share a slide up i've just got to find my computer uh, <coughs> let me find the photos uh da, 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 da. where's me download no you've got to open it up as a picture and share the picture right let me go to me downloads up here let's uh click on a couple of photos there we go so we'll bring up that one as a photo and then we will bring up that one as as a photo there we go we found the two photos brilliant right let's go uh blake's pipes hey blake's is in the room as well if you haven't looked at blake's um, latest video um blake's does a lot of pipe smoking go and have a look <coughs> at the one of him in the shed. it is hilarious and blake's always does some really good videos so well done buddy uh right let me just do share the screen so let's share up um a window Let's bring up this one. So here we go. Look, there it is. That is the blue <laughs> Peaky Biker logo. Yay. And Zed Head did that for him. So that's that's a bit of class, that one as well. Um, but I thought, oh, let's have a little bit of that. 
Um, and then Zed has done, I've done one for you. I, have you, Zed? What have you done? Um, thanks, Zed. He's done this. So <laughs> there we go. So uh, it's like Rev doing the sausage run. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Zed. You could have done me a decent one. I might have said, I'm going to use that for my Sunday videos. Um, Rev super sausage run. Yeah, so it's got fun. Um, yeah, here we go. He's just said, um, Impressive artwork. I'm useless at art. It was, yeah, Zed does some really, really good uh, artwork as well. He did uh, my logo a little while ago as well. And you did it every week. Oh, here we go. Um, Mikey, uh, I need someone to make a cartoon of me and my bike. Speak to Zed Head, Zed Head Motor Vlogs. Um, he's bound to be on the channel later on the site this evening, but Kiki and that will all turn up as well, hopefully by the end of the night. He, he did say that he was coming on. He better bloody do as I'm keeping his, I'm keeping his hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's another present for me because it's got a Wi-Fi router built into the SD card reader. It's, it's a good bit of kit. Um, oh, there we go. At least he didn't use the other type of sausage in there. No, no, we're saving that for uh, Nips James. Um, yeah. James hasn't been in for absolutely ages. It's probably because he's he got a channel ban for his first one. Um, and you can only have one YouTube account off the same email, unless, of course, you make a false email, and then you yeah. have to have, uh, yeah. Um, Peak is uploading videos. I've just got, I've just got, uh, I've just got done with one. Ah, there we go. That, that explains it then. Um, John Stevenson, have you ever written down Wanisha Lane? No, I haven't actually. No, um, we're up to do. Oh God, there's so many tours and rides coming up this week. Um, or this this year, um, we've got the Motor Rev weekend coming up in Wales with Craig and the boys, uh, Maverick, Goose and all the boys down there. So they're all named after Top Gunners. We've got the ABR Festival. That is going to be absolutely mental. Uh, but the one that we are doing is going to be the Wild Bad because we've got Jay going, Peaky's going. I think Andy's skipping that one because he likes a four-star hotel and there's no <laughs> hotels in the area. Uh, you won't get a BMW rider in a tent. No, exactly that. Um but there's loads and loads of different things. And, of course, we were due to go out with Peaky and Jay, I think it was a couple of Sundays ago, um, to go up north and ride all the um, the north roads. Um, that never happened because it was absolutely lashing it down for me. I got up at 7. It was hammering it down. By about 9 o'clock, it had cleared. Um, but by the time I'd messaged the boys, they, they'd got the rain as well. So we, we abandoned a couple of Sundays ago. Hopefully... Uh, we will get out. We'll do a few more rides. Me and Peaky are going to get some more cafe videos up this year. And April 7th, with a bit of luck, as long as he's well enough, we will get Jamie <laughs> from Southampton up to Milton Keynes to have a little bit of fun and a ride around with the boys. So it, Milton Keynes is quite nice because it's central to England and all the boys tend to congregate in the middle. So it's going to be a nice one. Um, and, of course, we get Vincent involved as well because Vincent is literally just up the road. Um, the help said a five star. <laughs> Andy doesn't do less than a five star, five star uh, hotel, <laughs> and it's got to have a decent bar with some decent whiskey and good food. Yeah, he, he don't do that. Um, I'm with him on the whiskey. Talk, talking of um, obviously Andy GSA tractor. Um, Andy was looking. Uh, I think he's looking at the new fourteen hundred, which is coming out next year. And I did say to Andy. Um, if you are getting rid of your BMW, offer it to me first because I am really set on the – after riding the Tiger, I'm really into the adventure bikes now. And everyone said, you can't go far wrong with a BMW. I know. After that heated seat, I thought my heated seat was warm, but that heated seat on that Tiger, um, that was absolutely chucking it down on the Sunday that I rode. But I was absolutely toasty warm when I was sitting on that heated seat. It was lashing it down. I'm soaked to the skin. And my body is still warm because all that heat on the seat is keeping me going. So you've got to have a heated seat on a bike. Absolutely love a heated seat on a bike. Um, there we go. I used to live in Southampton. Wouldn't mind going back to ride to the New Forest. Speak to Jamie. Jamie's down oh, in Southampton. Love the New Forest. Yeah, hit him up. Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, yeah. EUK Bikers here. Ah, EUK's great little channel. Um Five seconds on my say, all right, Andy, show off, show off. But yeah, don't sell the BM <laughs> until you offer it to me. Um, Isaac's here. Um, greetings from the Highlands. Hope everyone is well. Uh, good evening, Isaac. Welcome along. Um, loads of people coming in from the Highlands tonight. Hopefully, Zed Ed, and we'll get some of the boys in. Simon Brackett's here, one of our regulars. Um, and 
GJ's just said evening Isaac as well. So Friday night, it's all about the boys getting together, having a little bit of fun, um, just uh, getting on and doing stuff and just normally just kicking back, chilling out and enjoying the start to a biking weekend. Race Motor Live, great American channel as well. Um, if you want to see stuff about bikes, then go and look at Race Motor Live. I'm going to start sharing up some. I tend to share the smaller channels up. So everyone said, yeah, you should be promoting yourself. It's not about me. It's about the community. And as a community, we're all brothers in this, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Lily's, Lily's one of our sister bikers. Um, so that is what we do on a Friday night and obviously what Peaky does on a Wednesday. Uh, quick question here. John Stevens, oh, but how much would I pay for our yeah, um, secondhand 125 scooter? Anything between a thousand to about fifteen hundred for a second. Do not go for a cheap one that's five hundred quid off a Facebook marketplace. It's going to be rag to buggery. What you've got to remember: most one two fives are owned by seventeen or eighteen year olds. First bike, they're going to rag the shit out of it. What you want to do is check that it's got a decent service history. If it hasn't got a full one, ask the question: Why wasn't it serviced on time? Look at the condition of the bike. Look at the exhaust. That will give it away. If the exhaust's in decent condition, you know they've kept kept it clean if it's rust into buggery and got holes in you know they've got absolutely no maintenance skills whatsoever sit on the bike bounce the suspension check that the forks aren't leaking check the brakes on it check there's no play in the headstock you'll notice when you push the bike down can you feel knocking from the front end that's called headstock play um headstock play is normally color uh, caused by going over potholes or rough ground and just bouncing the front of the bike around it will cause head to play. Um, but, yeah, 1,000 to 1,500, check the mileage, check the service history. Um, and if in doubt, as I always say to everybody, if you're in any doubt about it, walk away. There's going to be a better one around the corner. Don't just go for the first bite you see. Look at three or four before you – yeah, I like it, mate, but let me just have a little think about it. I'll come back to you. That's all you've got to say to them. Don't be, oh, yeah, but if I knock 200 quid off, will you, why do they want to knock 200 quid off? If they're thinking of getting rid of it cheaper, you know that there's something there. A person with a decent bike will, no, mate, I want 1500 I'm not taking any less. You know that bike's going to be looked after. Um, I'm off Saturday and Sunday this week, buddy. Hell, first one in the mark in a while then. Um, oh, God, cylinder heads blown on money. That is not good. Um, yeah, you can get a new Yamaha 125 for 2 2. There we go. Andy's just sorted it. Yeah, decent Yamaha 2 2. Um, Vegas a month ago, and I can get back to your wonderful country. Loved it. Um, don't go Chinese. Eh? Believe it or not, Mikey, Chinese Chinese bikes are all right. Um, I had this conversation with a guy that um, he came in to look at a ZSB. Now, they're selling at the moment for about 1,800 quid because Lex Motor have knocked 250 quid off of every bike until the 1st of April just to clear the old stock. Um he said, oh, yeah, but my son can get a CB125 for another grand more. And I went, yeah, but it's exactly the same engine. The GY engine is exactly the same engine. Um, all, the, all the engine components are all copied or manufactured in the same place in China, and they all go out. Um, so exactly that. Chinese bikes, nothing wrong with them. It's, it's not the bike. It's the rider. Maintain it. Clean it. Look after it. Ride it correctly. Run the bloody thing in, and then you can open the damn thing up. Uh, Vegas. I've got loads of <laughs> loads of messages coming down the side. Um, <laughs> on the Varadero, yeah, the Varaderos were very, very good bikes. Um, Hardy's get discounted on a two five. Might go his next time. Um, I got a new camera. Yeah, locating placement. Um, yeah, blessed place for sticking a camera front of the chin, uh, on the bike on one of the mirrors, or stick it down. Um, just below the front headlight. If you want to, if you want to know about where to put decent cameras, Andy GSA Tractor has got cameras all over his bike. He's got little brackets everywhere that he just sticks on, and he just puts a camera here, puts a camera here, puts a camera here. Um, but yeah, Andy is the man. He's the cameraman. He he does some really good angles. Uh, Fifteen hundred two grand for decent mate. Check underneath the rust bar ends, levers for scuffing and bends. Thank you, Lily. Exactly that. Uh, my mind just blew everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, you have to go. It could not be explained. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no more mic issues. No, no. He sorted it all out. Um, next moment, seeing an electric problem, what I've heard. Um, believe it yeah. or not, they do have electric problems, but 
as long as it's all sealed up, the majority of people ride in heavy, heavy, any bike will suffer in heavy rain. Um, and the little 125, most of the water will go up under the front end. That's where you get your issues from. Um, the big bikes have got all the plastic shielding and the rubber pads everywhere. To, to sh so the, the Japanese bikes are built to a better quality because obviously they've got a lot more water protection. But Chinese bikes, um, standard 125s, all suffer with it. The worst one, believe it or not, was the um, YZF. So everybody had a YZF, Yamaha RZ, yeah. And they were prone for the ignition locks filling up with water. Lo and behold, Lexmoto copied it with the LXR. What happens? The LXR had issues with the water in the locks. Exactly the same as the Yamaha. So, exactly that. Um, about, sorry, mate? The only, talking about electricals on the LXRs and the Lexmotors in general, the only problem I've had is with the HD caps. Le best thing for that is a little bit of silicon grease around the top of the plug cap. Stop the water getting in there. Yeah. Uh, oh, Zonti's great little bike. Zonti's ZT, yeah, I would recommend um, recommend a cam. An Insta360, yeah, is what I use, yeah. Um, I use two. So I used to use the GoPro 10, um, had the Hero 10 until GoPro sent me a software upgrade, and I did a software upgrade, and my audio started crashing. Went back to the old software on it, and it worked. As soon as I did the upgrade, it crashed the audio again. GoPro did something to that camera. I know that they bugged the software to make you go and buy the GoPro 12, buy the Hero 12. Now, with a GoPro thumb screw, take it out. If you've got the media mod on it, you have to undo all the media mods, slide your camera out to get to the USB the other side. I would recommend one of these Insta. Um, this is the Osmo. Sorry, not uh, yet. Yeah, the Osmo. Sorry, the Osmo Action 4. So, same mount as what you'd find on a GoPro, but you squeeze the two side clips, it comes straight off. I do my long shots um, on the camera, grab the camera, and I do that. I literally drop that back on my helmet. That is secured by two <coughs> little clips and a magnet. Now, to get into that, so the Osmo Action 4, power button's there. To get into your USB, you click the door down, and your USB is straight on the side. I've got that in a small rig cage. That's the aluminium small rig cage. That's not been out of that cage since I bought the damn thing. But the one thing I love about the Osmo Action 4 is that when you power it up, it powers up in seconds. Now, you can get it. So when you power it up, before you even start recording, it will record 30 seconds previously and 30 seconds after you stop recording. So if you've missed something, oh, bugger, I forgot to do this. But um, let's turn the screen around so everybody can see this. It has voice <laughs> activation. So let me get it up by the camera. It's a bit bright. Start recording. <coughs> there we go. That's recording now. Stop recording. Shut down. It's voice controlled. If you've got the uh, the microphone, now I've got the DJI mic on the side. You can take that off. You can clip it inside your helmet. I've got that wired to my mic, but you can fiddle with that audio all on screen. There's no going into settings. You just bring up audio and you slide it up and down till you get the right setting. That records in 4K. You can up the, the frame rate to 300 frames a second for slow-mo. The GoPro doesn't do that. The audio quality is better. The camera quality is better. If you go and look at my videos from a year ago where I start using the uh, the Hero compared to the Osmo Action videos that I'm putting out now, get yourself an Osmo. Get rid of GoPro. They are shite. Um, and the best place to put that camera is on the front, and that is mounted <clears throat> on a thing called a chin mount. So they make chin mounts for all different helmets, with a little bit of Sugru behind it and stick it on. Sugru is probably one of the best things for bashing stuff onto a helmet. Uh, Andy, best place for cameras is bottom of the bed on Hanky Panky Night. Very, very <laughs> true. Uh, that'd be quite handy. Start recording. <laughs> 20 seconds later with me. Stop recording. I've had enough. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, move on. Move on. 
Uh, less electric problems than Italian bikes. Ducatis were prone with it, mate. Um, BMW are hinted they may be the M1300 GS on the. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, Sugru rolled it in long sausage pipes around the mountain. Exactly that, mate. Yeah, exactly that. Just been thinking my GoPro here, right? So completely fixed all my issues. Definitely agree. Quick release on the Osmo is better. It is really good. Um, that's the best. Yes. Literally clip it, bang it. And the thing is, I have, where did I put all my clips? Um, I have, oh, crap, drop it everywhere. Now, the mic comes with a little, so that goes in your external mic holder. So you've got a little plastic thing there that goes in the external mic holder, gives you a little dead cat. So if you're using it off of the camera, you can do that. Um, the cage that comes with it, they give you a plastic cage. The plastic cage is all right. I like the metal cage. So I, I went small rig. Uh -huh. They supply you. When you buy the Osmo Action, you get another two of these clips. So they that's get up close. You can actually see how those two clips work and the magnet in the base. So you squeeze the sides. That literally, when you put the camera on, them two locking clips at the side lock in to that Osmo. They've guaranteed it that it will not come off. Um, and I can prove the point because I went and paid 33 quid for an extra two years warranty. Um, now, if you drop the camera, bust the camera, or it packs up, you send the camera back, they send you either a refurb or a new one. You're allowed four cameras in two years for 33 quid. So if oh, I yeah. break that camera, it's going back to Osmo, I will get another one. And when I actually, because it was, it was this guy, I'm going to blame this bloke down here. This guy is the one that got me onto the Osmo. Actually, he said, he said you've, got to, "You've got to get an Osmo. You've got to get an Osmo." I like me. I know. I know. I like me GoPro. I like me Go. And he went, "Believe me, get an Osmo. You won't be disappointed." I got the Osmo. I loved it. Within the first, I was messaging, him, "Fucking thing! I love it. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. It's brilliant." Um, now I would not. I'm, I'm now looking at another Osmo for the front of the bike, and probably an Osmo two or a three to go on the front of the bike just to do a bit of recording. Um, but I use uh, this one. Oh, I've got so many cameras back here. So that is the Insta three hundred and sixty. Uh, that is the X two, <coughs> which Peaky sold to me as well. But I went and got one of these, and this is called a telesync clamp. Telesync clamp, so you can widen it. You can drop it on your handlebars. But if you've seen some of the stuff with the Insta, I actually clamped that hard down onto the screen of my GTR. And that, believe it or not, when that is clamped down, mate, that is not moving. And all you have to do is literally just bend it up, put the angle you want on it, record 360 degrees so I can have it on the top of the screen, side of the screen. I could even stick it on my top box at the back or on the back rail and just get some different shots of the bike. So it's the 360 and an Osmo, but you can't go far wrong with that Osmo. It's absolutely amazing. Um, now, uh, how much did I pay again for that whole lot? I had small rig cage, DJI mic, Osmo action camera, um, you get a bat battery pouch. Um, it's in my bag, but you literally press the button on the battery pouch. It tells you how much charge your three batteries have got. So you get three batteries with it. Um, I paid 530 quid for the whole lot, which is probably two, three hundred pounds cheaper than if I'd have gone out and bought all the same stuff for GoPro. Uh, but absolutely amazing little bit of kit. Uh, younger or older, I treated myself to an Osmo far this week. Yeah, uh, so far so good. You're not going to go far wrong, mate. It's it's a great bit of kit. You can't go far wrong. Um, and if you want to know about how to set your Osmo up, talk to this guy. He's had so much. He's had so many different cameras, um, and he's over the moon with the Osmo. Peaky uh, test man for the Osmo. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, mate, uh, just just genuinely, it's like the um, the three sixty uh, two again. A fucking brilliant camera, mate. To be honest, but if I'm being honest, it's it served its purpose when I went to Austria. So after that, I don't really have any. How can I put it? I don't have any interest to use it because it had served its purpose. So I, I wouldn't say I got bored of it, but it was kind of uh, redundant because the only reason why I bought it was for that trip. That's the only reason why I bought it, but. 
looking back now, if I'm being fucking brutally honest, I should have I should have kept it then. <laughs> but obviously, you had it. But uh, but for, for me, it's like I found out today. I'm going to do a video on it. But there's actually a short app that you can get for the DJI action cameras. So you can link it, the app, to your camera on your phone. And rather than download the footage, it'll just Bluetooth the footage to the app. So you can do a little, you know, a little 20 second um, short or whatever for Insta, YouTube or whatever. Appreciate it, right? Out, and it will send it out. Uh, genuinely, I, ju I just think at the moment, um, they're just head and shoulders above fucking GoPro. Mm. Head and yeah. shoulders above GoPro. And it's I was, any I type was of stuff. I've been out today with Brumtown Rider and I've read for nearly two hours without charging the batteries. Do you know what I mean? And I still I still had life left in them. Do you know what I mean? It's only because it's only because I fucking pulled over that I changed the batteries. We had a we had, we had a quick point. But it, it, honestly, it, it's them them head and shoulders uh, yeah. uh, above everything what GoPro would do. And that's yeah, oh yeah, I got fucked over by Go GoPro, but it's just for me. I just looking back now. I wish I knew this information before I started looking into cameras. If that makes sense, because now you, I've got an opinion of Insta, DJI, and GoPro now. And Insta for the three hundred and sixty phenomenal. That they they're the one to go to if you want a three hundred and sixty camera. If you want a action camera, then it's DJI. As the batteries are longer, it goes deeper underwater. It you can shoot in um yeah you can only shoot in 2.4 but the sharpness you can gain on on the footage you got shooting in in raw is a fucking lot more than what you can do in in gopro so there's just there's, there's just a hell of a lot more knowing what i know now looking into it than what i did do previously i just thought oh action camera gopro straight away now mm. now i know that unfortunately if you want, if you look at YouTube now, there's a hell of a lot of people now ditching GoPro. Mm. The so, thing is, when because obviously when you had your GoPro and I, I was on my crappy old, uh, it's about somewhere. I've got a drift camera that I pulled off my helmet because I've not. Oh you yeah, know, with that big block thing there. Yeah, I had the, I had the drift on the side, so the drift's gone. Um, yeah, the drift yeah. always used to be my backup camera should the GoPro fail. And the amount of times that I had to switch to the drift footage on the side of the helmet. But everyone was like, oh, you got to get the GoPro. So I went out and splashed the cat. I think I paid about £700 um, for all the bits that went with the GoPro. And all the I bought six batteries for it. Um, the batteries used to last 45 minutes. So I was constantly doing one bike back to the garage, changed the battery. Um, and then, obviously, Brian said to me, he said, You've got to get the extended, get the white batteries because they will last you a good hour. I went out with the Osmo the other day. I shot the LXR. I did the WK bike that obviously had all the, the fuel issues and kept popping. View. And then I went out and shot the sprint video. I did two, nearly two hours of footage off of one battery. And I'm, I got back to the garage and Phil went, oh, can you go and shoot another bike? And I went, oh, let me just check again. I've got 16%. Oh, hang on. Let me just change battery. And he went, oh, God. So... I was literally click out next one in click. I'd done it in twenty seconds. If I'd have so, had to do that, it would have been undo the phone uh, room, take the media mod out, pull the battery out, put it back in. The, put it back the other massive thing, sorry mate. The, the other massive oh. thing for me is with DJI uh, cameras, they charge to eighty percent in twenty minutes. Yeah. So if you pull over for a brew, for example, you can plug your camera in because the little uh, you get like a little pack basically with two extra batteries in but at the side of that you get a, a USB C to a USB C so it goes from the camera into the charging port where these batteries are held so you can use that as a charging port itself so you can plug that in off you go 20 minutes it's at 80 percent now that 80 percent is going to last you a good fucking a good hour and a half and an hour 20 an hour and a half before obviously you've got to charge it again but you are I've never had an hour and a half off a GoPro battery. In fact, I don't think I've had a fucking hour off a GoPro battery. Exactly that, yeah. 
So right, StreamYard link is up, people. If anybody wants to come and join us on the stream, come and chat with this man, the hero down here, Mr. Peaky Biker. Um, and of course, Jamie's biking adventures. Uh, come and meet him. You're very welcome to jump in on the chat. You need uh, you need to move your camera up, Jamie, when you're fucking filming, mate. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because of the angle on the yeah. front of the helmet. Or you, what you need to do is, if you go on eBay, you get these some that you get something called a. Um, it's something like an extension arm, but what it is is tiny little bits, so you can fucking angle it around, yeah. so you can bring it up. Yeah, I've got one somewhere hey, around there. Yeah. That's what I've got on mine because my camera was sat yeah. right up on on my chin, so I've got basic chin mount. Sit that the white bit is the Sue Group chin mount extender. And then all the bits that come up the front. But when I've actually got that on, when I'm looking down, I can actually see the back of my screen. So I can actually see what I'm recording. So, yeah, little extender up. And believe it or not, that is as solid as hell. I can I can trust my Sugru that much that I can do that. Bloody hell. That's how strong <laughs> it is. Yeah. That ain't That's coming off got, of there. I've got an arm somewhere around here. It's kind of got buried over time because I brought a chin mount. And it's kind of I've noticed with this since I've had the new camera, it kind of the angle. I just can't seem to get the angle. Yeah. All, all I'm saying is, is obviously when you're watching your videos, sometimes you can only watch you going down the road with the clocks for so much because you money. You, all you're doing is looking at the clocks of the fucking road. You ain't seen what's in front yeah. of you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, no, that, that, no. that's the thing I'd say, mate. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can, I can sort that out anyway. I'll most probably yeah. pick up. Right. I'm just going to, obviously, we were talking about this earlier where we, we share up the smaller channels. One of the guys yeah. that's um, he's always in the motor vloggers taking the mic and having a little bit of a laugh with us is Julian, um, known as GB Patriot. This is his channel being posted up now. So that's Julian's channel. So if you go on to YouTube, GB hyphen Patriot. He's only got two subscribe. He's only got two videos up. Bless him. He's Boone bike, as he called. If you remember Boone from like the eighties, I am silver. Yeah. <laughs> um, Julian started doing videos. So what we want to do? Um, he's got two subscribers at the moment. I want to surprise him. I want to see if I can get him up to fifty subscribers by the end of the night. So jump on your YouTube, guys. Go and type in GB hyphen Patriot. And you will find his channel. Go and give him a sub because he's going to be like, holy shit, I've got 50 subscribers this weekend. Yeah. Is that so get, I want to get Julian up to 50 at least. Go go and give GB Patriot a subscribe. Um, another channel that I want to mention. Um, and, oh, bugger, he's in the... I didn't realise he was here. No, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> he's here. Uh, right, yeah. Let's get, let's get Julian up to, like, 50 subscribers. Find it. The other one I want to mention... Um, now, me... Um, there's not just me. It's me, Zed, Peaky, um, Boo Rider's son, um, Brandon, who's known as MT Tank, rides around on an MT-10 bloody loud exhaust on it that pops and bangs everywhere um we all suffer from a thing called ptsd now back in the 80s um you were told if if you was a forces boy you you weren't allowed to show signs of fear you had to man up bite the bullet um, and if you weren't you were known as a coward or a wimp or a puff or a pussy um so there is a lot of mental health issues jamie suffers as well he's obviously everybody's ah adhd um i actually sat um, and he's, he's in the room at the moment. He's probably sitting in the side chat reading it. I actually sat and watched his video last night, and I was sitting there with a tear in my eye thinking, you're so bloody right, mate. You're so bloody right. Um, he's this guy, the paramedic relic, our good old Howie. Um, if you haven't seen his latest video, um, go on to YouTube, type in the paramedic relic. So let me just find his... Uh, uh the paramedic relic uh, let's type that up let's find how his channel come on youtube find it uh well peaky did you get your garmin sorted out yet it, uh, it's been sent back to garmin mate um i took it back to the shop basically i showed him the video that i had because i've got yeah. a three second uh, three minute video basically of it coming on basically it couldn't find me first and then 
when it found me, it was like fucking spinning for the direction. And then yeah. it just kept fucking turning on and off. So I took it back to the shop and I was like, oh, we'll have a look. I was I don't want you to have a look at it. I don't I want a fucking refund. So in the there end, I said, we can't refund you. We need to fucking send it off to Garmin. So I was like, send, send it off to fucking Garmin. But on with with that happening, yeah, fortunate or unfortunate, I went to BMW the next day. I did a little bit of um, filming for, got, for BMW on a new bike that they were releasing. Because um, oh. the BMW dealership around here drew the lad on. I know him. I've known him a while now. Um, but he was just like, oh, I can can we get some shots of this? So I ended up, I mean, I took my drone and I did like a few 360s and a few spin outs yeah. and stuff like that. Just, just some, a little bit fucking different. And uh, it, it, we, we was talking and I told him about this, the, the problems I was having with the, with the Garmin. And he was like, oh, you had a few problems with the Nav 6s. I was like, yeah, I had fucking four in two years. <laughs> like, so he was like, basically, he says, have you, have you had the new ride connect? I says, yeah. I says, but it was that new, nothing had connect to it. So, None of the software I had would connect to the Rider Connect, so it was just like, right, have you got what, what software do you use now? And I was like, I use um, my root app, and he was like, okay, I know it's linked with that now. So they ended up fair play to them, they ended up giving me a Rider Connect nav for me to do a long term review on. He says, so they'll do a short term re- review, wait till you understand it, you've got you've had it, you know, a good fucking six months and do a review on it any feedback we'll feed that back to bmw so i'm uh, at the minute i'm quite fortunate as now i've got like a fucking 800 pound fucking sat now for nothing at the moment but what i will say is now i know how to fucking work it now everything links to it it's fucking phenomenal absolutely fucking fun if if i could pick that or the nav six i'd pick the nav six because as a user-friendly um, sat nav, it's a lot more intuitive to use. It's a lot simpler to use. Everything kind of falls into place. Where this nav, um, this Rider Connect, everything's got its own sub section and sub menu. So you've got to go, you've got to use your whiz wheel to get through the menus and get through. Do you know what I mean? Where before you could just literally tap a button on the fucking screen and you'd, I don't know, you'd you'd miss a waypoint, for example, and then it would yeah. reroute you. And then rather than as it had reroute you, it would zoom out so it'd have the section that you should be doing and the section you're missing out so that you yeah. can see where kind of where you're coming back, at what point you're coming back at. But, uh, but yeah. So That's Harry's know. channel anyway. Down the bottom, the paramedic relic. If you haven't had a look at Mental Health Ride Part 2, um, Pinky knows what I'm on about. It bloody hits home, doesn't it, mate? It yeah, really, I've, I've, to, to be fair, I'm saying it just said, you know, powerful, pretty shocking. It was, mate. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, just a quick one Stevie's in the room and Marine Rider as well. So let me just put the link up. I'll see if we can get our Stevie on. Um, if you don't know who Stevie is, military biker uh, in Canada. So our very own man himself, Scousey. <clears throat> Bear with this, the wife. Hang on. Yes, dear. Sorry. Two, Only asked for times one. Oh, you've got the good lighting, ladies. No, only one. Oh, God. Let me just check my order. Oh, Nico's actually asleep tonight, then. Can you hear him? Oh. Yeah. I saw your video. Oh, I caught up with your Wednesday. Carry on, boys. Oh, yeah. He was barking away, wasn't he? Mate, he's. he's, he's, he's he don't, mate. He, he very rarely fucking barks. If I'm being yeah. honest, he's one of them dogs. You know what I mean? Unless he kicks off, then he'll, he'll fucking bark. But yeah. mate, he's, he, he, he was only that night. Honestly, he wouldn't leave me alone. He was up and down his fucking legs. He was fucking walking around the house, scratching the back door, fucking bless him, spouting. Nah, I love him, mate. Oh, honestly, he's, 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 so then. <laughs> well, that's good. I've I've ordered that. Uh, I thought I'll get Mrs. B some pizza <laughs> while I'm eating. Um, I ordered the mighty meaty, meat delicious, garlic bread, and some cheesy sharers. They've said two lots, so I've now got four pizzas, two lots of dough balls, and two lots of garlic bread. I'm not <laughs> arguing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiots! Uh... Right, right. Can, can we just quickly change the subject for two minutes? Yes, so I want, to, I want to say thank you to Rev for picking some up for me today. Oh, that's all right, mate. Don't worry. That's what mates do. 
But um, yeah, so so uh, if any of you guys do any tours, as Steve you will will know, and a few of you will know, so it gets to a point where you know I, I'm I'm at a point now where when I do my tours, you know, I record obviously a lot of fucking stuff, and I'm getting to the point where I don't want to have loads of fucking SD cards because I've had it in the past where I've recorded over shit <laughs> I recorded fucking early on in the fucking tour so I've actually ended up buying a uh, what's it called Rev a pack summit hub fucking oh, so basically so ba basically what it does is you can put a external let me, drive. let me just go and grab it it's downstairs so, on the kitchen table so, so, so basically what it is is it's a, a, a device where you put an external hard drive to it and it transfers the data through that into the external hard drive so you can you ain't got to carry around now fucking endless amounts of um sd cards and stuff like that because at the minute mate I, I, i'm running around and i've got eight gigabytes 16 gigabytes 32 gigabytes 125 250 i've got two 500 to, uh, gigabytes i've got a terabyte one you, you're just fucking i'm just running out of not running out but i'm uh, it's just getting to a point now where i just don't know what fucking i don't know what's on what and at least when i put it to the external hard drive then it's going to be in date order it don't matter what order it's in i, I really asked because i can look through the files and find out when it was recorded but i'm, I'm just losing storage now basically on my phone and because i have to upload it to my phone first so it's just fucking it's just fucking hard work but i bought this thing and back like i say basically what it does is it transfers it from the sd card to the external hard drive and literally you just fucking press a button and it's all built in it's a um so it's got its own router it's got its own hub it's um got its own wi-fi network everything yep. so that's where the sd card goes you put the sd card in there and then next to it it's got st sd to usb you press that and then it transfers all the files to the s to the uh external hard drive yeah, I might have to invest one of them because I have problems with phone it comes storage. With the lead. I download mate. it all from my phone. Well, that's what I do. But you come to a tour, mate, and like I say, you know, when when I've been away for ten days, you know what I mean. I've got a on my yeah. iPhone, I've got a terabyte worth of storage, and I can fucking fill that up within, uh, you know, a fucking six or seven fucking days. But with that, you know, if if I buy a four terabyte external ex, uh, hard drive. Like it don't matter. I can just fucking fill it, yeah. I, and, and and I can transfer. There's an app on there, and I can transfer everything. So all my photos, everything onto the external hard drive through that. The only problem is now, unfortunately, what Revs picked me up today, the Darmek anymore. Crikey! So oh, someone's there's, asked for there's, a link. I absolutely have no idea. No, all I've no got link, is a message from Pete saying, the "Can I just pay for it? I'll give you the money at the weekend. Pick the, it up." And I went, "Yeah, it's in Milton Keynes." The, the, the only thing was, was, yeah. It was on. Uh, it was on a new build housing estate, and it looked like fucking Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to the door, knocked on it, and a little kid comes to the window. Went, what do you want? And I went, Can I pick up a parcel. Who from? And I went. One of the bikers has asked for something. I don't know what it is. I said, but I know it's sixty. Like my mum will come to the door. Ten minutes later, I'm stood there waiting for the door to open. The door opens. She's got like. I've got to be careful how I put this. She's got like a yashmak on. <laughs> what do you want? I went, oh, come and pick up a, a, an order. And she went, what is it? Camera? I, don't, I said, I absolutely no idea. All I know is it's £60. And she went, let me get my husband and shut the door on me. I was stood there for another five minutes waiting. For, and he's opened the door and he's got, he's passed it round the door. I'm like, how bloody dodgy is this looking? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but but like if you want it, obviously a lot of you guys probably on here know motor rev. So this is what the same thing that fucking motor rev uses. So when I looked at it, basically I couldn't find one on Amazon. I couldn't find one in the in in the US. I couldn't find one in the UK. I went on eBay. There wasn't one on eBay, and I was like, I messaged him. I went, I can't fucking find one, mate. He went, Yeah, they don't make them no more. And I was like, fuck sakes, man. I says, he went, yeah, he goes, basically, they sold, they sold them for like a 12-month 12, 12 period, and that was it. And then he messaged me back about 10 minutes later and says, mate, there's one on Facebook. 
there's one on Facebook. And I was like, fucking hell. So I messaged that lad. I was like, where am you? He says, Milton Keynes. I says, right. Keep it. If you want to deposit, I'll send you a deposit through PayPal. I says, oh, my mate will pick it up, you know, either tonight or tomorrow night or the weekend. And he was like, yes, yeah, sound. I was like, fucking sound. But now, at least now, I've got some at now. Like I said, I've got an external hard drive here. A full terabyte external hard drive. So I can just connect that, press the button, and then I can fucking delete all my cards. So I've got fresh cards every fucking couple of days then. Good idea, <sighs> Mate, it is. It is. Mate, if you if you're doing any kind of tour, you know, anything like that, mate, you've got to have you've got to have that capability to fucking store your fucking footage because, mate, sometimes like I've got I, bloody SIM cards and bloody external USB. I've got loads of them sitting in front of me. I just literally load everything up all the time, constantly switching SD cards. I don't, I'm, like, I'm using what the two fifty six gig ones. I've filled. Um, I've done four videos today and used 160 gig. Crikey! What yeah. do you shoot? That, what do you shoot? Just got, I'm shooting in 4K at 60 frames a second. Why are you shooting in 60 frames a second? I like to get some slow mos in there. That's why. All oh, right. So, so you know when you shoot your 60 frames a second, yeah. So the the the, the LED lights flicker. Yeah. Yeah. So if you reduce that down to 25, the wild flicker, it'd just be one standard uh, light. I get that on the screens when I'm not looking at the clock screens, like the LEDs. It's like, yeah, yeah. So if you reduce, if you reduce it, because what that is, is the electricity uh, level, um, the kind of running level of what the electricity is. So in the UK, it's between 25 and 30. If you uh, mean, yeah. if you mean America, it's usually 30. So um yeah, but the actual the actual uh, one for uh, the UK is 24 frames a second. So that's why you'll get 24, 25, and 30. So if you run that it for 24 or 25, oh, for that. Did, I then, that. yeah. So if you're doing a slow mo uh, for a reason, then use I go onto your DJI and use the slow mo footage rather mm. than trying to slow it down in post edit because uh, gotcha. I'll do it. It, 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 you, you will get the quality in post edit as you will do using the actual slow mo. Um, right, just a quick share up very, very quickly. Uh, we mentioned this channel earlier GB hyphen Patriot. He's got 13 <laughs> subs, <laughs> he's tripled his subs already. So, if you haven't subscribed to GB Patriot, he's on his boom bike. Go and give, go and give Julian a, a little bit. Why, of is, a, it, a why is he called a, why, I, I want to know why is he called a boom bike? It's, do you remember Rocky from Boone? Um, Rocky oh, from God. Boone? You mean yeah. Michael Alfred from Boone? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can find so Let me see if so I can where's, find where's the name? Where's, come on, where's the name come from? Where's his channel? I, from? I, know, no where idea. I know where I he don't. comes from. I know where he comes from. I do. Because when, when he first bought the bike. Who subs? I thought I've got to let Rev know. <laughs> so, when he, when he first bought the bike, that's what I said to him. You look like fucking Boone. Do you know what the funny thing is? <laughs> I had that same bike back in 2013. Let me just share the uh, let me just share the screen. Oh, this is hilarious. I've just found it now. But uh, right, if you don't know what Boone is, yeah. There we go. Michael Elfick. Yeah, whatever his name is. Yeah, man. But look at his bike too, mate. One, two, third, third line down, second in uh, from the right. Uh, third it. line down, second in from second the right. There right. we That's go. It. It's that one. Look at that. It's like an old BSA thing. That's what he's after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's any more of the bike on it. I think it's all just the oh, uh, actor Michael Elphick. There we go. Look at that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He used to be a singer great. and everything, did he? He's made albums and everything. He's done, yeah. He's done Neil Morris is Neil Morris is still going, so it ain't yeah, a bad, it ain't a bad old sit. When you actually watch it, it's so bloody tongue in cheek, and it is it's good fun. Like, it's no, it's all this, it's all this. You watch shit like that and fucking art beat and all the rest of it. It's fucking crap. Uh, Twin Peaky, you get. I'm now known as <laughs> Boone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, EUK's just subbed him. There we go. 
it is it is right I, i'm gonna say now it, it is any banter I, I ain't bullying him or nothing like that it is any banter it's, it's he, gives, he, gives, he gives as good as he fucking gets i'm gonna put it that way uh is that rhythmic back right <laughs> with the long hair okay. it's the l'oreal yeah yeah, 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 yeah. V, v del sassoon bad hair never looks so good <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you've got to, you've got to admit though, some of the boys in Milton Keynes are great. Uh, you've got uh, what was it? We've got Rhythmic, we've got um, Steve Slow Rider, um, no Slow Bones, isn't it? Yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, he's Slow a good lad. Bones. He's a good lad. He's a lovely lad. Um, yeah, yeah. Then Uncle Red and all that lot. So, and then of course um, the old boy from Emma. He lives outside, but Andy's all right. <laughs> you got no, no, the, 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 the lad. I've got a lot of his, lot of time for his boo rider. Mm. Uh, got a lot of time for him, man. He's he he, he uh he fucking when when I was supposed to meet you at the bike show on a day turn up, I had a fucking bit of a panic attack on the translation. Mm. But uh, we, we met up with all of them lot. But like I bought because obviously I was with my, my my daughter. She was only like eight at the time, and then all these lot are like, "Hey, you doing PK?" And like my daughter was like, huh? she like must have thought I was like a fucking superstar because the lads are going, "Hey, you doing PK?" <laughs> she was like, huh? But for, uh, uh, fucking rhythmic's about fucking nine foot tall, are you? He's fucking massive. Oh god, yeah, rhythmic's a, a tall old boy. Do you know what I mean? Um, so she's, he she stood there just like that. <laughs> potholes, does he now? He's he's like he's gone up in he's gone up Manage in the road. Management, management. He's he's management he's, now. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like you fill that pothole in. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's chief chief overlooker of the potholes. <laughs> <laughs> he still don't get fixed any fucking yeah. quick, though, does he? <laughs> Fair play to him. Fair play. It's a nice kid, like he's a nice kid. Yeah, rhythmic. All, all you tend to see what you get, what you get on screen is exactly the same as what we are in in real yeah. life. We're we're all just he us. And yeah. he yeah. can't sing and he can't play guitar. He likes to think he can. He thinks he thinks he's fucking Dave Grohl off the Foo Fighters, but he fucking. Has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he does like his Star Wars stuff. That's the thing. He does he does like play with his lightsaber. I bet he does. <laughs> I did. I did at that age. <laughs> <laughs> and he's spook when he came on camera he's got his spoon collection on the back wall <laughs> oh, uh, yeah he's still, he's probably the he, uk said he's probably the one that makes potholes yeah uh <laughs> this is off. he's got a bird's eye view of milton cases <laughs> has, any, has anybody else noticed it uh, is, does anybody has anybody got um chew buddy on here yeah yeah have you noticed he's gone to facebook buddy not chew buddy that's it yeah so it's gone green or turquoise instead of red uh, let me just have so a quick it's, look so it's gone to like fight it's something called fb now so oh, it's still, it, oh it is oh, i was tb yeah yeah but it's 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 in if you click on it it's in conjunction with facebook uh, so, yeah. so they've sold out oh really yeah See, I've got I've got the free version of it, and I'm I'm actually rocking along uh, four point four six at the moment. So I, I'm getting close to four and a half thousand views now, or four and a half thousand subs. Yeah, but you fucking paid for most of them. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I you get my money off YouTube. <laughs> fucking fifty pound a month goes into fucking ink wars to fucking pay for these fucking. Oh, subs. here we are. Rhythmic reminds me of Neil from the Young Ones. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, yeah. are you the dopey one? <laughs> yeah. I've just, oh, I've was, just um, I, I was going to say, I've just eaten uh, 1500, but I'm going to show you now. Hold on, where's my phone? You'll be, me... you'll, you should be smashing that by now, mate. I know, mate. No fucker likes me. Um, While I'm doing that, I'm, I watched a video last night. Uh, one, four, seven, six. Well done, well done. You're catching up. You're almost at the two. You're fucking catching up. Fucking nowhere. Fucking near. Catching up. <laughs> we'll get you there. We'll get you there. Um, to, to be honest, watching, mate. Go on. I was watching a thing from Harvard University. Uh, how do they pronounce it? Harvard. Is it Harvard, Harvard, Harvard University or Harvard or University? Harvard. Yeah, Harvard University in America. Yeah, um, Harvard. They're interviewing. They had this speaker on, and the guy's basically interviewing this woman. She went. Well, I'm lesbian and my friend is trans and um, my friend is used to be a woman, but is now known as a man. And, he, and the bloke went, all right, has she got breasts? No, she's had them removed. 
has she got a vagina well yes but she's having the surgery soon to have a penis yeah but can she still have babies at the moment yeah well she's still a woman then well no she's a male no you identify as a male but you're still a woman in he said and he came out with such a good thing he said if you put a cow in a field yeah what would you call a cow with others and she went a cow he said so if you remove the others and what would it what would it be if you wanted to strap a penis to it well it would still be a cow and he went exactly you're still a cow <laughs> 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 i was like oh that is just so it was like bang nailed you straight to the wall love <laughs> I want to be identified as Yamaha next week. <laughs> oh, it's uh, some of it. Some of this is it's just being so politically correct now at the moment. Is um, and believe it or not, Amazon um, have received a huge amount of complaints um, because they've been asked to show the series "Love Thy Neighbor." Um, and if you remember "Love Thy Neighbor" from the eighties, uh, do you remember it, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, um, was he? He's fucking so it was, fucking was it Eddie, Eddie and Bill and Barbie and whatever. Um, Rev, and it was, Rev, be careful. Oh, no. I know. Yeah. So all I'm saying is Amazon have just released it as a series. Now the guy that played um, Eddie is on EastEnders, believe it or not. Um, but. Amazon have received over 400,000 complaints that it, they're showing a racially offensive show. Back in the 80s, it was different. We said what we see now. It, you have to be so politically correct and very careful what you say. Um, for instance, I can't call him Ginger. He has to be strawberry blonde because you have I to age, be. I asked I strawberry sure blonde. If you're going to get it fucking, if you're going to insult me, then it's African sunset. If you're going to African me. sunset, yeah, and he can't All call right. me a bull. He can't call me a bull bastard either. No. Right. If, if, you're to, if you're going to, if you're going to insult me, insult me fucking properly. <laughs> At least get it right. <laughs> See, yeah. that's the difference. Like when people say, like, try and take the piss and stuff like that, they go, "Oh, yeah. you know, you ginger." And as soon as you come back with something like that, mate, they say ginger. It's fucking African sunset, and you can see. Oh, everybody else laughs. Yeah, and the bloke who's trying to set the piss is like, that. oh, well, well, you dickhead, uh, and everybody yeah. else is still laughing at fucking that person because I'm like saying that, that. Yeah, I'm fucking oh. ginger, but I had I had brown hair. I don't have ginger hair. I had fucking brown hair. Don't bother me. Um, German. Oh, so uh, oh, here we go. Is is our friend Optimus Prime? So she transformed into a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let me just read some of this scrap. Uh, Arvin is the smartest dumb people there, yeah. Uh, all that talk will tell me. <laughs> oh, Howie, I'm 18 stone, but I identify as Finn. I'm trans slender. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, Jamie's skinning up in the background, yeah. Um... <laughs> Mate, he's rolling a fucking... Jamie's rolling a four-sheeter in the back like that. Like oh, fucking Bob that Marley. Sam, Sammy's here as well. So, um, if you didn't know Sam, I've been I, I love following these tiny little channels. Um, Sammy needs to sort his video out a little bit, get his camera tipped up a bit towards the sky, um, sort the audio, get yourself an internal mic, mate. Get a plug in mic and just put your mic in your cheek pad. Um, uh, GP, uh, I hope they got that red Lebanese. Here. Let me just find Sammy's channel. So, um, let me just find him and on. He's in here somewhere. Okay, I have him is that, saved. He's that, that weird a bit fucking rough, is it? Fucking Jamie. Well, I don't smoke weed, <laughs> but yeah. Fuck off. Your fucking eyeballs are red raw. <laughs> like fucking like you've been straining for his shit. <laughs> oh, no, that's the lack of sleep I've had in the last few days. <laughs> right, let me just find Jamie. Um Sammy's channel. Hang on. Um oh I've had a message from Beans on Toast. Hey, my old mate um Toasty on tick. Right, let me just find where Sammy is. Uh, da, da, da. Mark from Leeds has messaged me as well. Hey, Mark from Leeds. Mark from Leeds. Oh, right, let whilst, me... whilst, whilst I'm looking for that, I'm going to plug my own midweek moment. Yeah, go on, mate. You, you because crack on. all of you, all of you must have watched One Man, One Bike with the, the old bloke going over to Morocco and down to Senegal and all round oh, there and yeah. coming back. Yeah. So, 
I've been texting him basically for about three and a half months. I've got his phone number and I've ended up texting him. Now, I've actually persuaded persuaded him to come on this week. Oh, so wicked. This week. So this week, as a as a bit of insight for all you guys and a bit of a, uh, what's the word called? A, uh, what's the word called, Rev? Fucking. I can't remember what the fucking word's called. But just throwing it out there that, yeah, we've got, mm. I've got one man, one bike on this week. So, yes. um, so yeah, I'm going to, uh, over, over the weekend, I'll be firing some texts out to, uh, you know, a few people just to. Um, quick one. So Sammy there is, um, he used to be known as a young gamer. He's now known as King Sammy B. Um, so he's basically, he's got a little Z, um, Lex Photo Titan 125. Um, rides around on his scooter, just does videos with his mates. Now he's only got 164 subs. So nice little tiny channel. Um, but I've been following him since day one because obviously he messaged me and I thought, oh, I'll just follow him, see what he does on his time. Um, all you need to do, Sammy, get your camera up a little bit more, get it off your clocks, get it up so you've got a decent view of the road um, and sort the audio out. If you need what, any pointers... What's he got? Uh, what, what camera's he got? No, what um, camera's I don't got? know what the camera is, but it's... it's I so, think he's using the audio off the camera. Thing, I think he said. Oh, what? He did put in the comments, it's a cheap Chinese camera. Oh, it's cheap Chinese camera. Yeah, get right, yourself so, an external so mic. If that's if, right, a bit of a combat indicator there... So if you put the camera on in, in the lens of the camera, you should be able to see yourself in the lens of the camera on the reflection. So if you can see yourself in the lens of the camera, then everybody else can. Whatever you see, whatever you see, tilt it up slightly, just slightly. It's better to have. A, I always work off thirds. So I, I, I try and do my chest to like my head. Then my head to the top of my helmet, and then above my helmet is a third to the to the to, to the top of the video. So mm -hmm. I always try and work with in in them parameters. Do you know what I mean? What you don't want is just you a fucking big squad in the middle. Do you know what I mean? So try and yeah. work off the parameters. But like I say, just use get, just sit on your bike in the garage or whatever you're doing. It's somewhere light. Make sure you've got a good light on you, and then what you'll see is the reflection from the. Um, from the lens and just tilt the lens up so up to the point where you can sit on your bike normally as you ride it and you can see yourself on on there even if you've got to do a few records take it off right tilt it back a bit record take it off put it back a bit once you've got it right fucking leave it and you'll be sweet mate Come back I was to say, if you, need, if you need any pointers, there's there's always me and Peaky. Just drop us a message on a YouTube and we'll message you back or just DM us. Um, just DM the Peaky bike or just DM. Uh, my um, bits and pieces are all on my website, redbomb.co.uk. All the details are in there. Drop me an email or whatever. Um, um, yeah, all of us, Sammy, have videos on our mic and our camera view. Yeah. Um, as I say, um, Isaac's just asked, uh, let me just find his post. Um, I would love to know your thoughts or get feedback on my video. I'm still learning. We all started somewhere, mate. If you go back to my very first video where I'm stood in a showroom and I'm going, um, here's the Lex, uh, Lexmoto LXR, um, and this is uh, um, the amount of erms, and it's really nice, and it's this is really nice, and nice, mm. and nice, and nice, and it's it, when I watch my first videos back, I cringe. It's just being about you. And it was this guy um, and Zed Head that just said, be yourself, be natural, and just waffle on about shit. And I do. Every single video, I waffle on about the Wednesday night midweek mumble and the Friday night live stream, and what we're doing at Super Sausage and who we've met up with this week and the stuff. Just talk about, just be yourself, be normal, and just talk. The, the, best, the best thing I can say, or the best advice I can give, which is... Um, what I do is I press record and talk. Forget your recording. Just talk. Now, what you've got to do is pretend you're talking to somebody about summit. So you've got to answer your own questions. But in post edit, then if you've got a big section where you're just complete and utter fucking waffling, it don't matter because you can just cut that shit out. But the bits mm -hmm. that are interesting. You can chop them together, and even if it's only a three-minute video, it don't matter. It's better somebody to watch 
three minutes of a three minute video than three minutes of a 50 minute video because your analytics will see that there's more people watching the three minute video so your percentages are higher on the three minute video than they am on the fucking 60 minute video now it's just easier for me to just go out with something in mind to talk about don't just try not to go out not have nothing to talk about try and have a subject to talk about prior even if you've got three or four subjects at least then you've got footage that you can click together over numerous weeks to make one video which is what i've got i've got numerous videos saved with just 10 minutes five minutes eight minutes seven minutes and then once i'm listening back label them up nice and clear for it. so when you're editing it now it's nice and clear so you're like Fucking hell, that i could put that into that video and then all of a sudden you've got six or seven videos there uh, for 10 minutes each do you know what I mean? And it's it's just it's just a little bit easier. It's all it's it's more work, but that in the long run it's fucking easier because mm. it it just slots into place a lot better and a lot easier then. Um, and and just talk, just be a main thing is be yourself. If you weigh yourself, you're gonna get caught out fucking pretty quick. Don't don't try and if you swear, fucking swear. If you don't swear, don't swear. Don't try and be funny if you weigh funny. If you're funny, fucking Philly boots. Just, just be you. Just be you, because because what people will find out over the time is you invest like like we all do. We invest in channels. We invest there invest we in the personality. That one, Peaky. Uh, I'm able to join the live stream. Be nice with chat. Always with you guys as well. How am I able to join the live stream? How are you doing? Camera, well, camera, all, you got, all, you got, all, all you need, mate, is a. Um, if you've got a laptop, the best thing to do is have a laptop, really, because you the the camera and the uh, mic on the lap on most laptops now are fucking pretty good. So all you need is a, a laptop and a, uh, a and just press the fucking link, basically that that, that Rev's put out there. Um, and if you want to fucking join, you can join. I, I admin at the minute because I'm on a different. I'm on a different computer today, so I, I admin at the mini. Um, but, uh, but yeah, all you need is a laptop. All, all, all you need is a laptop, mate. The, well, the best thing to use is a laptop. You can use your phone, but uh, but yeah, I'd use a laptop because it's just fucking easier. Mm. And make make sure where your your um, your channels on you on before you join the live. But uh, yeah, always yeah. welcome to join us. Um, and talking of people joining us, oh, ha, 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 look who's here. Down the bottom, it's the one and only Mr. Zedhead. It's Stu Zedhead Motor Vlogs. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's gone. Uh, oh, here we are. Blake's just said you've got to get naked first and use the name. Oh, where's he gone? Uh, let me put him back in. Who knocked him out? Um, you've got to get naked first and use the name Roland. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Peter Roland. Jamie, if you fancy going up to RB1 Sunday, I will uh, meet you. I've got a 125. It'd be good. Yeah, you're always yeah. welcome. If, if you come to Super Sausage, and Peaky, he, he buggered it up. He buggered it up down here. <laughs> he turned up at Super Sausage um, before I did and went and ordered his breakfast and got charged 17 quid. Wait till I get... I'm fucking starving, that's why. <laughs> 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 if you turn up at Super Sausage on a Sunday, I will always get you breakfast. So that's not it, it, to, to me. To, to be fair, he will. He's, he's, he's true to his word. If just the week I rocked up there, so I was like, right, I'm going to go down the M1 and then go back up the A5. So I, I usually give myself about an hour, an hour and a half, an hour forty. But I sat there and there was nothing on there. So I got there in like about an hour and ten minutes, and he was going to be there for another four two minutes. I thought. I can't fucking stand around here and do fuck all for 40 minutes. And then he's going to come, have a brew, order his food. I thought, fuck it. So I got, I got fucking, uh, fucking dry spanked, fucking 17 quid. <laughs> uh, but you got food that you got food the last time. You got yourself a bacon and sausage roll last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, bacon, bacon, uh, no, sausage, sausage, egg, and mushroom. That was it, yeah. I need, um, I need, I need, I need, I need bacon sausage, if I can cook it myself. Um, if you haven't seen the intro to the, um, Check him out. Yeah. Just at 500 subs. Hey, Mr. Zedhead. Yes, he got 500 subs tonight. Yeah, the man, the man. Um, yeah, quite happy with we, that. 
We were showing it early. How comes Peaky gets a really good channel? He gets a really good channel picture, and I get a fucking sausage on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think it was a sausage. Was good. I don't think it was a sausage. If I'm being, uh, <laughs> yeah, just a dick on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually, uh, I actually put into the eye generator a uh, rev bomb riding a super sausage, and that's what it came up with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh she's just said um, he's taking out the F900 tomorrow. Oh, that'd be an interesting one. That looks that looks a really Mate, sweet bike, actually. Phenomenal bike, that is phenomenal. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, Matt, take care, Matt. Matt's off everybody. Take care, MT. Right, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Uh Blake's pipe, could you show the art? Yeah, I, let me let me just dig up the artwork. So let me just um <laughs> Let me just get into my folder, grab my downloads a second. Right, let me just bring these photos up. Make sure I know the naughty ones, Rev. Like no, Make no, I've got to be careful on what I click on. <laughs> right, let me open that one. That's that it won't, one. It won't do it now. This one. Right. <laughs> Let's. Uh, let me just go into present, share a screen. Uh, right, here we go. Let me go into Windows. So... This is Peaky's new logo that was done by Mr. Z Head. Uh, check that out. I've actually, that I've, actually I've, I've actually changed it a little bit. Yeah, it looks good. So Rev, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna it send it, I'm gonna send it, you know. I'm gonna send it, you know. Uh, right, let me share up the other one. So Stu did me this one. <laughs> <laughs> Rev on a super sausage run. Oh, love that. I love that. I'm going to use that for some Go back. Video, Go back. Because his hands are even on the fucking bars. Go back. <laughs> Hang on. Let me go. Hang on. It's a fucking sausage. <laughs> Hang on. Let me go. Uh... It's fucking freewheeling. Oh, it's not any hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hands? And he's with his fucking boom backpack on his fucking back. The one, the one that I am going to share is obviously we're we're going to start to promote this now. Of the uh, <clears throat> and it is the open day down at Eclipse Motorcycles. So if you happen to know we do the ride outs from now on a sunday uh open day 7th of april we are open from 10 till 4 we've got a full display of all the bike all the bikes are coming out uh, we've got the clothing out the helmets more hot and cold food and drinks all day we've got a dj turning up um we have got a lot of tiktokers and youtubers coming down for that day so if you want to come down and meet the youtubers and TikToks at the garage um we're located in bletchley the address is in the top left hand side if you happen to go onto Facebook, onto my Red Bomb page, the uh, the poster is up there. So we units four to six, Tavistock Street, Bletchley. Uh, we've got discounts on the day, lots of giveaways, and we've got the guys from Mental Health Motorcycle turning up with the donation bucket. And the ladies, so when, and the ladies, and the ladies, yeah, the, ladies the guys from well. ladies, the health motorbike. Um, I did message the girl um, and obviously said, "Look, can you bring a, someone up with a donation bucket?" Uh, we're going to get the charity pot going. Mental health motorbike is a thing that I am really behind. Peaky is as well. Stu is as well. Um, but off the back of that, obviously, we are a supplier of Viper clothing. And um, he said to me, he said, you're into adventure biking, aren't you? Would you be our ambassador? <laughs> you. Yeah. You. Would you be the ambassador for the brand? And I went, yeah, what do you want me to do? And he went, if we supply you with some kit, the Viper kit, um, would you would you promote it? And I went, yeah, all right. What are you going to send me? They've sent me the. I've got the grey adventure, very similar to your stuff, Peaky. So I've got the grey adventure trousers, grey and black, the grey jacket, and they've supplied me with an enduro crash helmet. And I'm like, oh, this is pr the helmet is bloody lovely. It's better than my LS2. I I, I, I endurance all the way, just super sausage. <laughs> <laughs> along it's the a5 
Yeah, I literally, it but when I start when I start going out and doing the longer rides, at least I've got an enduro jacket. So yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> oh, here we are. Sausage adventure. We all we all do a thing called sausage adventures. Yeah, mm. that'd be quite. That's a different channel. Well, that's an entirely <laughs> different channel altogether. <laughs> you go down the rabbit hole with that one. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Rev, have a look at your phone. I've just sent you the one of of. Uh, let me have a let me have a right, post, post, post up. That's smart. <clears throat> to be fair, I, I have like, no idea. Oh, exactly I like that. that is that is lush, mate. That is very lush. Put, I like it, on, put, put it on here. Then I like, like it. I like uh, how the right, idea. Uh, luckily, I have WhatsApp on the computer, so I can literally jump in at the Motor Vloggers channel. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, just said like, they're coming. it was oh, Zed that spoke, Zed come up with it. Zed doing the idea, <laughs> and I've just added to it, to be fair. But that's, that's that. I like how we ideas can grow like that. So no. I was like, oh, poppy fields, sunset. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, just, mate, you know, it's just sparks in your head. I was like, right, I need, I need to fuck it. <clears throat> I need to have a look at this now. Yeah. I was supposed, to be, at, I was supposed to be at work, but fuck it. Uh, no, it was good though. It looked smart, mate. Yeah, man. Uh, she's soon as I put, she's soon as because I, I I put through like all the information on the AI generator, and she she the one that I sent you, there was two, and that one was the better one. Yeah, yeah. and obviously you saw the one that it came up with the American flag, so I had to change, yeah. I had to change the details just ever so slightly, but it came up with a better uh, better result. I've read it. This that is lush. That is absolutely lush. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't that? That is really good. I like that. Mate, do you know what? That tells everyone about your channel without you saying a word. Mm. Yeah. Angry, ginger, fucking... <laughs> what, what <laughs> BMW rider. All right. You need, you need to do me one, Zed, and if you do it good, I'll buy you a coffee or I'll, I'll send you some money. <laughs> <laughs> give me one fucking sausage bike or whatever it's called. I'll, I'll get on to it, mate. I'll go on to it. I want sausage, a nice one of me on me. Stocking. Just me. Um, mental health motorbike sounds good. Get on with me now. Mentally screwed. Yeah, we are. We all are, mate. We're all. We're all screwed. If you haven't seen Howie's video, uh, go and look at the paramedic relics last video. Um, and it hits. It really hits home. Yeah. Um, race. Um, you shall have them send you another helmet or outfit to raffle up. They're they're doing a raffle on the day. Actually, they're bringing a load of stuff down. So, um, let me just see if I can find Viper clothing. I'll just show. Uh, Viper... I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm more shocked that they give Rev fucking adventure gear when he owns fucking assless chaps. <laughs> That's I'm fucking more shocking. He owns a fucking Harley Davidson and he, they give him That's an adventure fun. fucking bike. He's got a GTR 1400 and a fucking Harley Davidson and they give him adventure. Oh, but have, you, have you not heard that um, Andy's selling his um, GSA next year, isn't he? That's fucking next year. <laughs> yeah, but I've said to him, I said it before he gets rid of it, let me know so well, I can you've got uh, afford that fucking three pound a week or whatever you want. <laughs> oh, believe me, mate, the money's in the bank for that. So fucking that's sorted. Right. Three pound three pound and a fucking fruitney bit or whatever it's fucking called. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh right, so uh let me just find this bloody jacket. Um jacket and trousers. Here we go. Because it, it comes in straight black, khaki. Um, or grey. So let me just bring up the photo. Come on. Right, well, I'll do that. Let me switch back to my stream yard. Go to present. Uh, share the screen. Go into... Oh, God, where's it gone? Secure browser. Where's it bloody gone? Uh, let me get rid of Boone the series. That's better. Right, come on refresh there we go that one there right there we go so that's the stuff there here we go so that's what they're sending me um it's called the guard but it ain't bad is it waterproof it's waterproof, oh, waterproof yeah. yeah you were sweating your fucking rocks off in there what is that like, a, is that like a... shoulder. yeah but on the inside, is it? Is it like a Kepra tech or something like that? So it's got like a sort of plastic barrier. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll be it's, good. But they, they're that's sending what me a, the... That's what a black bag on the top of it. Because uh, I've got, 
I've got a little think... RF, RFT gear here, and it's, it's called Sinaqua or something like that. Sinaqua, yeah. Aye. Oh, right. Um, let me just, let me just, what you need to do, Sammy, if you want to come and join us. Right, here we go. That so, all the are fucking brilliant, Zed. There it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it's as um, close to as cool as you can get. Um, so, put your stream yard on, Sammy. What you need to do <laughs> is <laughs> jump <laughs> into, Zed, click yeah. that link. So, if you click the link, put your camera on, and then just come and join us, mate. It is that bloody easy. Really, really easy. Do you grow in your uh, beard, Zed? Or you just carve your to shave? No, I'm going to go. I'll be, I'll be squaring myself away again. Uh, Blake's has just asked. He's just said, uh, said head, can you show the art on your wall behind? Oh, I, I like, where are we, Matt? Oh, look at that. It is there. So, that is... basically what it is, it's a, it's a set of angels' wings, and it's made out of driftwood. That's, that's like the tattoo Beckham's got on the back of his neck, eh? Right? You're really a fucking Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay. it's, it's all made out of uh, driftwood. It was uh, a lassie from Ireland that made it for me. It's cool, that is. Yeah, driftwood. Nice. That, is, that is a bit of class, isn't it? That is class. Yeah, yeah it's brilliant because like, um, like all, the, all the different colours of driftwood give it a wee bit of depth. Do you know what I mean? It looks like feathers. Oh, but... German Jobby said it looks like two seahorses kissing. Well, it could uh, could uh, be, but I mean, that could be one for your psychiatrist, that. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck has he got that from? Is he pissed up or what? There we go. Click on the uh, StreamYard link in the chat, Sammy, and get on camera with us, boys. So, yeah, it's very easy. Put you in the green room, long as you've got your camera your favorite, on. Your photo over the weekend, uh, Zed. Um, I am hoping to go out at some point. Uh, I was out in the bike today and in between showers, so everything seems to be fine. The battery's holding charge. Um, so I fitted the, uh, I got the quad lock kit, so I fitted all that today as well. So, um, quite happy with that. Quite happy with the positioning. So, the quad locks are fucking brilliant. I, I, when it first came out, I, I kind of refused to buy it because it was yeah. so expensive, but then. How easy it is to charge your back, your phone and shit like that. I was like, yeah. the amount of times yeah. on tour I've, I've pulled up my and I you know, fucking battery on my phone. I was like, fuck this, this yeah. is fucking shit. So obviously, uh, obviously, I've not went for the wireless dock, but I'm going to buy that um, because um, the cover that I've got's got the magnet on it for it. So, mate, it's a game changer. Game changer. Are you ready, boys? Yeah, yeah go Guess course. who? Hi, everyone. It's Good. Sammy. Fucking hell, kid, you're in Nick. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Good, thank you. <laughs> How's everyone stay going? Oh, good, mate. You are right, yeah, mate? Doing, doing well. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Good, good, good. How come you're on the piss? Hey? How come you're on the piss? You need to save fucking... money for a new bike. Oh, fuck the bike, mate. You can fucking get it. Get, you can get fucking loaded. Fucking fuck the bike. <laughs> So, if you, um, everybody didn't know um, who Sammy is, Sammy rides a Titan. Uh, we yeah. posted the link up earlier. If you haven't seen the link for Sammy, we'll put the channel up one more time. Um, he's, he's mashing it, absolutely mashing it now on the uh, subscribers. So, it's really good. Um, we're going to share up Sammy's channel one more time up on the StreamYard link. If you haven't subscribed, um, he's a newbie, so be nice, guys. Be nice. He's he's fresh to motor vlogging. We were we all we were all there one day. We you know we got some really generic people here. So King Sammy B. So King Sammy B on YouTube. Go and give him a subscribe, like. He's fresh to this. We we're, we're helping him along the way, which is what we do. We love to help the new channels. Um, and talking of people that like to come on my live stream on a Friday night. Lo and behold, look who is down here. It's Ishimoto. Fucking hell, kid. Are Hi, you mate. in prison as well? Are you <laughs> How are you doing, guys? <laughs> yeah, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. He's in the, fucking Ishi's in, the, Ishi's in the custody okay. room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I was in prison. <laughs> How you doing, my guy? You right? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, I've literally just a second seen your message. Fucking Have you? Yeah, so I'll put that up on my uh, on my channel, mate. That is yeah, it. sound. Oh, that, oh, that. If an, if anybody don't know, if 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 you're into your off roading, 
and trial oh, loading yeah. and fucking stuff like that. You need to you need to click on fucking issues channel, mate, because the uh, he's 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 into all that fucking shit, like, and and he's a good rider. So what he's saying is is fucking knowledge. You take what he's read out of a fucking book. So if uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, then then fucking click on his channel. But also, if you like people falling off the bikes. I've looked at his channel as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we can fall off them, all right. Right, uh, let's, just, uh, let's bash his channel up. So, guys and girls, the guy down the bottom, if you happen to like trail ride, I've been watching a shitload of his stuff, which is why I took the Tiger out last week subscribe. rather than take the uh, take the GTR out. Ishimoto, there we go. Ishimoto, 3179 on YouTube. Go and give him a like, subscribe, comment, share, watch some of his videos. The more you watch of his videos, the more the analytics will help you. Um, Zed Head Motor Vlogs down in the corner. Go and follow him. Peaky Biker, Jamie's Biking Adventures. All the names are there. So, and go and tell me a like. For, he started off with a few tonight, and we've, we've got him up. And GB Patriots at about 16 now. So, Julian's flying away. He's just like... Yeah, he's matched his channels up tonight. So, and it's all about promote. We love all these small channels that are down here. So it's it's all. But about they are the small channels. I'm on them. They're just they're just channels that I yeah. get fucking looked at. That's the problem. Weeny weeny channel. No, no. All yeah. it is 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 obviously, you know, it takes this shit takes time. It takes and, time, and, yeah. And you know, you we are all like Rev who spend fifty pounds a month fucking buying fucking subs. <laughs> 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 um for instance, so I, was, when... I was wondering I was wondering why all his comments are Mr. Lev Bomb, we love you, we love yeah. your next photo. <laughs> oh fucking red bub, Mr. Red Bub, yeah, yeah. But for instance, we have um, we had we had professional monkey on here about three weeks ago, and I'm like Jesus Christ, massive channel, 100,000 subscribers. I'm like, until, and he went, mate, I've been there, done it for like eight years or whatever. He said, you build the numbers. Um, and he came out with a really good quote. He said, it's a bit like Kevin Costa with the Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. And it's just yeah. putting the content yeah. out week after week after week, doing your stuff, making who it funny. Who, who asked him to fucking give us a shout out? Because it was fucking you, was it? It was fucking me. <laughs> I was the one straight. I, I was straight on him. Right, you need to give us a fucking shout out now. Uh, that's right. I, I forget whose comment was actually on his live uh, at the time. It was yours. <laughs> I won't mind, but none of these fucking none of these said anything, and I don't even get the fucking comment. These pair got fucking <laughs> loads of subscribers. I only got one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, as German Jobby said, "You're a blessing to those around you." Exactly, we all are. You know, um, that is the whole. Me and Peaky don't earn any money for doing this shit because it normally goes to red. That's because yours was yeah. just a fucking fiver. Fucking spending on the fucking subs. <laughs> I spend it on my subs. Yeah, you cheeky hey, bastard. I've, I've subscribed hey. to your channel. It's costing me one ninety nine a month. <laughs> <laughs> fucking needy. You sent your uh, sat nav back yet, Peaky? Yeah. I mean, the MT you've sent back. Yeah. Yeah. Kept turning off. It, the, the screen kept going to really dull, even when I brightened it all up. It kept going dead dull. And then towards the end, it would just switch off. Just do, you think off it, do you think it's a vibration issue? Do you think it's loosened a, like a dry joint and on the circuit board or something? I whack one off over it earlier, so it shouldn't be dry. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Have you uh, yeah. have you got the adapter on the GS? Yeah. What? Which adapter is it? It's that M3 adapter. Yeah, adapter. I've got that. I've, I've never had any problems with mine at all. So I, I've, I basically, I just took it back and I was like, we'll have a look. They had a look and they were just like, we can't see anything. I'm like, of course you can't. You're my fucking shop. You're a technician, am you? You're my fucking salesperson. You, you know what I mean? I said, send it off. I want, I want, I want somebody else to have a look at it. In the meanwhile, I went to I went to BMW, just having a chat, and they've given me a um, Rider Connect, eight hundred quid Rider Connect to 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 review. So I'm used. So basically, when that Garmin comes back, because it's going to be fixed, I'm just going to sell it because I've got no need for it after that Rider Connect. If it's I'm working like, all right, I might have that off you. Well, th they've already said that the the well, the, I had an email today saying they're replacing it. So, 
but it's there's nothing wrong with it. When it works, it sounds it's not an issue, but it's just I, I like having the fucking whiz wheel. I like being able to zoom in and out when you're going through places and, and stuff like that. It's just daft stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just you're not riding stuff. quick enough then, PK. Fucking hell. Hi, hi. Fucking Valentino. Fucking Rossi. Fucking <laughs> hell. Shouldn't have time to be fucking about with fucking wonder wheels and all that shit, you know. <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate, when I was off the road, mate. I told Mr. I'm a wonder woman, yet alone wonder yeah. wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, when I was on them trails, I was shaking like a shitting dog. That fucking the one no chance of fucking looking at anything. I was looking oh, forward, no. mate. That was it. You just gotta keep looking ahead. Yeah. So, but uh, but uh, it's it's just one of them. I've been given that now, and uh, the one I had before a couple of months ago, because it was that new. There was nothing was nobody else has updated to the BMW Rider Connect, but now there's a lot of. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of uh, the apps have updated to it. So now you can, it's more ob obtainable to put your boots onto it and all the rest of it. So now I've got it. I'm kind of learning myself now how to fucking use it and how to go through it. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a video on that. But at the end of the day, mate, you know, I've got to thank fucking Wolverhampton BMW because they've given me an 800 quid fucking sat now for nothing there to, to review. Sorry. They give it, mate. So, I've got to review so it. Is that the, the, the six, the Saturn have six. The... No, no, it's the one. It's the next one. It's the, the oh, brand new. It's I can't keep up with them. To be fair, see, I had uh, when I had my GSA, I had the Navigator Five, and I didn't like it. See, the Navigator Five is supposed to be fucking brilliant. Yeah, but, I didn't have any problems with it, but it's just mm. you can't do like uh, adventurous routing and all that on it. What do you need adventurous routing for? You only go through fucking puddles. No, but what you can do with this, so if you send me uh, a route, it'll identify that it's off-road, so it'll turn it from a route into a track. Rather right. than a route. So if you do a route, obviously a route for the road, but a track is for off-roading, so it'll define whether it's a, a route or a fucking track. Which and will it and it'll still on. navigate the track? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'll, uh, so let us know when you've done the review on that. Yeah. Like I say, my it's at, at the minute, I I've I ain't got a fucking problem with it. I ain't got a fault with it. I've had it now about ten days, two weeks. So, it's a different operating system now though, isn't it? From the yeah. navigator five and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the six. They're completely different, mate. Completely different. Yeah, well, the lads were saying when I went on my last island trip, lad had had a Navigator 6 and he couldn't get used to it. See, so, to, to be fair, to be fair, I think I said to the Jamie earlier, out of all the sat navs, I'd have the Nav 6. If the Nav 6 worked, I'd have the Nav 6 because it's, it's, just, it's just a lot easier and a, a, it, it's more usable as a fucking rider. Everything mm. kind of flows. If you, you know what I mean. If 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 you know if if you want to skip a waypoint, you just press the X and you skip the waypoint. And then, where now with this one, you've got to you've got to go into the folder, drop down the box, go into another folder, drop down the box, and then skip. And then you've got to confirm the skip. Do you know what I mean? Where before, yeah. You, just, you know what I mean. It's, it's next next waypoint is I don't know, eight mile skip. There you go. And then it'll just tell you what what you was doing and what you're doing now. And then it will zoom back in onto your route. It was just a lot more fucking. It was a, a lot easier to, to yeah. one, one to use and two to work with your fucking gloves and all the rest of it. Let me let the dog out because he needs a shit. Doing it, baby. So uh, Isaac's just back. Isaac, if you go on to RevBomb.co.uk, all my details in there. Drop me an email. Uh, you can WhatsApp me. My numbers on there as well. So. Uh, I think that's on my Facebook page. If you go to Red Bomb on Facebook, I've got a WhatsApp number on there. You're always welcome to drop me a text. I have so many people on my bloody phone at the moment. Uh, just like you're not, your me. number is on Facebook, Rev, because that's how I got your number originally. Yeah, you just jump on Facebook, on the Red Bomb on Facebook. My WhatsApp's open. If, you, if you're going to be rude, I'm just going to block you. But um, <clears> if, you, if you seriously need any advice, then my number's available 24-7. Um, the best thing is... Um, now, obviously, me, Peaky, Zed, Jamie, we all suffer with PTA. We have a little group called Motor Vloggers UK, um, 
And if somebody has a down day, you put it up within five minutes of you saying, I'm having a shit day. Someone is going to give you a call. Like, How are you doing, buddy? You all right? Anything yeah. I can do will help you out. And it's great. The amount of times I've called him, him down there in that bloody corner, Stu. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm having a shit day, and he's like, "What's up, mate? What's up? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I really want to get it off my chest." And it's like, um, "Peaky as well, Peaky phones, and we all help each other out." That is the art, and everyone says, "Oh yeah, but Friday night you make shitload of money off of doing it." I'm, I'm sitting here free of charge. I earn nothing off of this live stream because it goes red, which means I get instantly demonetized on a Friday night because of the amount of content of swearing. Um, it's about the community and the biking brotherhood sisterhood um, we all get out there have a good time every time I go to Super Sausage I'm buying coffees and bike and um, that is what we do as a biking community we're all here for each other so the slightest yeah. thing you pick the phone up and we help each other out and that is what we do so that is the whole idea of what Fuck the off. Friday night and the Wednesday and night live streams are about. And we have a little bit of a laugh. And, it, and it's raining. Oh, it's raining cats. Cat in the it. corner with his bloody snoring dog. But <laughs> it's raining cats and his tech tips, the tips and all that as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We have such a laugh. I tell you what, the WhatsApp group that we've tell, got. Tell it, yeah, now. There you go. There's a funny tip for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, we're, when, we're, when we're all sort of, I'm at work or Stu's at work, and the, the old WhatsApp goes off and you're like, oh, God. Um, and then, uh, who is it, Alkimoto goes and puts up Princess Kate, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, help. what have you done? Uh, like? <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, not one that's safe for work, that's for sure. That's not safe for work. No, that's <laughs> how you Andy, believe it or not, Andy GSA Tractor is the worst for sending stuff to the Motor Blogger group. Yeah. 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 When Andy sends something to the Motor Bloggers group, you're like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna disappear off and watch this video. I, 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 I darkened room out and has uh, what's up. Um, how we just buy an order survey back to sell it to you and go old school. Exactly that. Um, WhatsApp must be. I'll tell you what. WhatsApp. Yeah. My WhatsApp messages today. I must oh. have had about thirty WhatsApps today. Rev, you don't fucking lot. work. Rev, Rev, he sits on it. Rev sits on it, telling us he's fucking graphing his nuts off. Mate, he sends <laughs> us videos every fucking ten minutes. Oh, here's a what here's <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing the tapits today. Fucking get on with the fucking work. I'm only sending us a fucking video. You made twelve <laughs> hours. You keep making fucking videos. That's all. <laughs> Put the fucking videos at. You're there late. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. The UK peaky smiles and it goes red. Fucking tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet uh, he's been for uh, fucking four weeks until I've got on here. Yeah, the community is awesome. Yeah, um, and I'll tell you what, believe it or not, one of the ones for you, you go and look, when you when you sort of hook in your tube bunny in the morning and look at all the comments, the one that always comments all the time is Lily, and she comes up with some really good stuff. Lily is amazing. We've never had Lily on camera. We need we need to get Lily on the live stream because she's scary, always yeah. comments, scary, she yeah. comments, she comments on everybody's videos all the time. Scary, you Rev. That's what <clears throat> she might fucking try and abuse her. <laughs> uh, Ray is exactly ask YouTube for a refund if you don't. As I say, you know, there's a, there's a big red X in the corner up there. If it's not for you, then, as Lily said earlier, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, don't mean the worst. Mark, is she? Is she? You, you, had, yeah. an air, you had an air cut, son? Yeah. You yes, you're going, you going in the fucking Marines? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got to have it short because it'll be another six to eight weeks before we have it done again. Fucking hell. <laughs> what, you want to go back and get the cunt finished? <laughs> I, thought oh, I, looked, I thought I looked younger. Hey, fucking hell. <laughs> I even was had that, a shave. Was that, was that was that with the mirror at the back of your head? <laughs> yeah, it looks better. It does look better at the back. <laughs> have, have you got the fat roll at the back like me? No, not not quite, it? not yet. <laughs> Morris said I had a fight with the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fighting talk, guys! Fighting talk. St Stevie Wonder cut it with a fucking knife and fork, but don't worry about it. I'm all right. Hey, do you want to uh, mention anyone coming on this uh, oh, yeah. one day camping event with us? He's doing a. Do you want, do you want to give the details out now and the dates oh. and stuff? 
Uh, I can't remember the dates. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you push your channel. You push your channel there. Um, I don't know. Just don't, you know, everyone will have to just, when you need them. <laughs> just join, join, join me group and have a look on the events. Yeah. Ishimoto Dirt and Road. Yeah. To 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 be fair, that's like I say. If if you're into that kind of stuff, which I'm getting into now, so it, it, it's just good to have somebody there who's kind of done it and also got the fucking knowledge but yeah the, the more so posting stuff that's relevant to what you want to fucking do you ain't got to go every week but at the same time if you want to go then it's there do you know what i mean so like i say if you go into facebook and look at ishimoto then like i say he, he's, he's, got, he's, got, he's got a he's got a good job. i don't know what the fuck you want it for you've got a fucking harley davidson oh uh, it's like <laughs> bye i have a harley you know what I mean? I went through a puddle yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, we do road rides as well. I've yeah. got a, I've got that. Uh, well, I'm organising a chippy run up to Ox and Hope in the next few Here weeks. We uh, copy and paste that. That will take you to Facebook. That will take you to Ishimoto's channel. Ishimoto Dirt and Road. There you go, guys. Uh, Saturday, 23rd of March to the 24th of March. Come and have a go at off-road motorcycling. Uh, it won't work when you're on a GTR 1400, but <laughs> that's the channel for you guys. Go and follow that one. Give it a like and subscribe. Sorted. Right, there we go. That's that one done. Right, there we go. So that's up for you. Um... Oh, here we go. Uh, Ish is going to be in the woods running where everyone is being a bloody month early. <laughs> it's all gone quiet. Someone talk what's, for fuck's sake. What's everyone doing tomorrow? Is anyone, who's going out? Who's who's not? What's, well, I'm, I'm, I'm up up to BMW, Virtue BMW in Shiplet. Nice. Two things, I collect my new GSA and I take the F900 out for four hours. Excellent. So, what what time the coppers letting you out in the morning? <laughs> they let me out early. Early. I'm up, I'm up at five. Who's, who's, paid, who's paid the bail? <laughs> the missus. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. It's, it, it, in, well, on, on mine, we've got Ray Miles today, tomorrow, so. I suppose we're in meeting um, Agus Whisperer on Sunday to exchange some goods. But um, my daughter's out and she, she's taking her car. So I've got fucking... Annie just... Well, not Annie just found out, but found out this morning. So I'm going to be out to fucking meet him. But uh, I'm going to come down to Rev now on Sunday to uh, get my... Uh, my fucking... My new gadget. My new gadget. <laughs> Oh wait, now I can transfer all my shit onto that. Hmm. So, but to be fair, like I say, that that is probably after watching Craig from Motor Earth, that's probably the easiest and quickest setup you can do. And you've got Wi Fi there, you've got wireless Wi Fi there as well. So, and you can, like, like <laughs> I don't know how to get to Pinky talking, it brings up missing the book. <laughs> I know how to get Peaky talking. Just bring up me some them baldy bollocks. <laughs> I need to put yeah, my glasses on. I can't read any of that crap. You old fucking cunt. Um, <laughs> it's just yeah, Ray, Ray, Ray's is off. Cheers, Ray's, for coming in. Ray's Motor Life. We put the link up yeah. earlier, guys. Go follow Ray's Motor Life. Great channel. Go and give him a like and subscribe <laughs> and everything. That'd be brilliant. Fucking um, hell, you, you got more chins than a fucking Chinese phone book. Yeah, well, I'm trying to just hold the camera just right. Just you want to be, <laughs> well, it needs to be up here then. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? No, that's that's for your only fans. I can you now. <laughs> I still got one there. One channel that I am I am gonna share up tonight, um, and I do have a passion for this channel is um Peaky knows what I'm talking about. It's Tins on Tour. Um, the big man himself, Sean and Faye. Uh, Faye's got a channel called Bikes and Brushes where she goes out and basically sets up a little artist easel and does some painting. Sean rides a GS1200, um, but he is suffering with um, what's called macular degeneration. I think it's his right eye. 
Um, so he's in for, he's having surgery at the moment on his eye. And I know exactly where Sean's coming from because obviously I'm down to 30% in my left eye. Um, my my uh, assessment is this Thursday. So I am out of action. Luckily, they've timed it on the bank holiday Friday. So I'm going to be I'm going to be hopefully by the time I get in for the Friday night live stream on the bank holiday, I may be wearing a pirate eye patch. No parrot, and no stick, but I may be having an eye patch on Friday. Um, but I will see how my eye goes for the live stream. Don't take the piss. <laughs> Um, we'll see how it goes. Well, obviously, I've got to have the pre-assessment and a load of needles stuck in my eyeball. So we'll Captain see how we Jack, go. Friday. Captain Jack's backer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get the surgery because I'm down to 30% in this eye at the moment. I can't see shit. If you watch my um I did the we did the Loughton bike meet. We we started a new bike meet in Milton Keynes, and I was struggling. Every time a car came towards me, I couldn't see the road. So my night vision is totally screwed at the moment, which um, best thing is at night time, it makes everything look really good. So the missus looks more attractive. <laughs> you shouldn't but, have said that. You shouldn't have said that. Uh, sorry, that. that. There's, there's a boot just about to come through that door. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, why you, fucking, that's uh, why you got a bad eye. She's lying that side like that. <laughs> uh, <exactly. laughs> that you sleeping in the garage tonight. I'm exactly. saving it. The best thing is, it's her birthday next Wednesday, so we shall be on for the live stream, and it's also the missus' birthday. So, yeah, Wednesday night, midweek, mumble, missus will be on, and she'll be another year older. Hey. Oh, there you go. I shall, I shall bring her on. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> and then next month is my birthday. Hey. Six, six, uh, yeah, yeah. Weekend. Big 60, yeah, yeah. I'm the big 16. Um, April the 20th. So uh, should I do? Sammy's just said, should I do Lance and John O'Groats on my little scooter? Um, believe it or not, um, Stuart, um, and I think he's called Young. T he comes in every now and then. Uh, Vincent knows who he is. Um, we had him, I think Peaky met him down at the Super Sausage, didn't we? Yeah. We had Stuart in. Nice and he's like, nice he's, he's, he suffers with ADHD, um, depression, manic anxiety, PTSD. He's got everything. He's got tablets. Got he rattle if you shake him, he rattles because the amount of tablets that he takes every day. But he turns out and he goes, "That's my Lex Moto Titan. It's done forty four thousand kilometers. It, it, it's like Trigger's broom. It's had half a dozen new engines in it." Um, it's still he's he's the one that bought the XDV off of us, so he's got the XDV adventure. He's just um about to order the thirteen hundred quid pannier kit that looks like a BMW GS pannier kit, all aluminium. Um, he's spending a fortune on that bike. He loves it. He's done 120 miles in two days, so he's racking up the mileage on it. He's loving getting out on that. But um, he's gonna be down probably super sausage on Sunday on his new one. Um I hope everyone has a great weekend. My terrain is uh, catching up on them. Yeah, Vincent's catching up on the mileage as well. So we sorted Vincent's terrain out as well. So he's on one of my Super Sausage videos. Uh, we're up this Sunday. So if you are up Super Sausage on Sunday, come up, pay a visit. I'll get you a coffee and a burger. You're very welcome to pop in. Um, Peaky's going to be there. Yes, the man, the big, the big YouTuber, is going to be up at Super Sausage on a Sunday. Um, bring some stickers, mate, because there's going to be loads of people that want your bloody stickers. Um, no, if you go, I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> the best bit is when you when you go in the door of Super Sausage, they've got a please be nice and take your. Um, if you've got muddy boots, take your shoes. Off. Um, the first one to start it off was Rhythmic. He went and put his badge on it. Boo's put one on. I've put one on. Everybody is putting their stickers on the inside door now, and she's getting the right arse about it, which is a great thing. Um, oh, here we are. My juke. Mate, she looks like, mate that, that bird in there looks like she's fucking lost the tenor and found a fiver, don't she? All the fucking time. All the time, man. I know. Yeah, she, Chris is lovely, but she, she gets a little bit of the arse every now and then. Um, yeah, I tried, to, I tried to put my fucking breakfast on your tab and she was having fucking none of it. Not she a fucking having, iota. Not an yeah, iota. Chris would. Chris I was would. like, you know, Rev, Dave, she was going, yeah, I went, put it on his tab. No. I was like, fucking <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, 
what to, if he had just put on his fucking tab? No. <laughs> no. Let's put the coffee on his tab. No. For fuck's sake, man. How much is that? 17 quid. I went, I need to the fucking bank. I need to get a mortgage. Fuck, you know. And, like, the, fight, <laughs> the face was just straight like that. Like, Oh, right. Right. Whereabouts in the country is this super sausage? Um, it's just that from Milton Keynes, so it's it's between Mil um, St uh, Stony Stratford and Toaster. Mm. So it's sort of Buckinghamshire, called... Northamptonshire. It's the area of must be loaded. It's called. Yeah. <laughs> so how often do you have do you have meat, Sarah? Or is it just like a? It's a every day cafe? of the week. Red yeah, it's a every cafe, Sunday. But... Yeah, I go every Sunday, but it, it's packed yeah. on a Saturday and Sunday in the summer. Well, the boys are there on a Sunday, so Rev goes. <laughs> yeah. I, get, I get myself down in the summer. Yeah, come on, come yeah. on down. I'll treat you a bacon roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, have a, I'll have a ride down with messes. He needs to keep off the fucking bacon roads, but fucking never mind. <laughs> uh, I can get a good can of I've got to look after this. this. Yeah, 10, 11 quid. I've got to keep my second chin. That's why I've got a fucking grey beard. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if you find a pink punters, you'll oh, I'll tell you what, pink punters, what a venue. <laughs> Mate, it's a fucking strange place, that is. Fuck, you know. We went <laughs> there, we had um, we had a bit of a party night, so um, we went out one night with the neighbours. Um, I'm going to so stop Rev there and just say, it's Rev's kind of get up. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Now carry yeah. on your fucking story, Rev. The thing, yeah, the thing was, I am being, uh, Pink Pun I know the owner of Pink Punters because it was originally an Irish um, Gaelic bar, and it used to be just a bar at the top. But he did a crafty. He dug the car park up and put basically an underground um, area and told the council it was garage and then put the concrete slab on the top and built the car park on the top. And then he knocked the garages down and turned it into a bloody nightclub. <laughs> and then applied for retro planning permission when it was already built. So they, they let it go. And then he built four more disco rooms. So they've got set, I think it's five or seven different disco rooms. But I turned up with the neighbours about, God, about five, six weeks ago. We went there. My missus didn't want to go. She I'm going home. No, I can't be doing that. We went there with the next door neighbours. And I said to him, I went, where's your dungeon room and he went what's that so the dungeon room where they play all like the rock music and it's got all like the bondage gear hanging off the walls and they call it the dungeon room and he went no nah, mate he said that was 20 years ago i went oh he said we've still got the dungeon bar but it's a drum and bass club and i went i like a bit of drum and bass <laughs> walked into the walked into the drum and bass room and it's like yeah started throwing shapes and that and then the dj's gone hello mate how you doing Fucking hell, you're looking old. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking hell, Dave, where I dug you up from, you old bastard. <laughs> yeah. But it, we had, it's I was, all right. I was underneath we, that fucking dance floor, the fucking second fucking car park. <laughs> <laughs> it's, where, it's where you go to the bar to get a drink and they want like £7.50 a shot and £5 for a bloody pint. And I was like, Jesus. I bought a round of drinks and it was 30 quid and there was only three of us. <laughs> You should, like, given, you, should, you should have given 15 instead of got dodgy eye. <laughs> I think the thing was you have to watch out because it's all lesbian, gay, bi, transgender. So I dropped my wallet and kicked it to the car park. <laughs> Fuck off, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> Your arse is like kicking a sausage up an alley. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you dropped it on purpose, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh again. Oh, again. Walking, walk, walk, walking around like fucking Donald Duck. <laughs> Dan, um, you... Which Divi did you get for your GTR? I've got the V56 Maxia, so I've got the big one. Enough to enough to fit my. Uh, Are we still in the pink room here? Or the big uh, room? <laughs> my army sleeping bag in. I've got my proper army sleeping bag. Yay! Is that for when Good you do your adventuring on your Harley? Yeah, that's oh, when I do the adventuring on the GTR, mate. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Uh, fifth sinister of 50. Uh, there we go. They do a bigger one, Mr. And I'll put your helmet in. Yeah, you get you get it in a 50. No worries. Right, it's coming up five to ten. We've been on for two bloody hours, which is an hour more than he does. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, Jamie, do your outro for us, mate. And what you're up to for the weekend. Um, well, I'm hoping to wash the bike over the weekend if I'm not in too much pain. Oh, but, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, and uh, till the next one, Roy's safe. Yay. Peaky, go on, Bri. Stay safe, keep your family safe, and all doing one thing, please, just smile. Everybody, and you, fucking chins, fucking smile. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you up to, Stu? Um, tomorrow I'm going to get the bike round, get it clean because it's absolutely hanging because I was out riding in it today. Um, Sunday I'm going out for a longer ride to, to record a vlog. So that's pretty much what my weekend's going to be. Excellent. And of course, our new subscriber down here, Sammy. First time on the live stream. Sammy, great to see you tonight, mate. Uh, yes, what are you up to for the weekend? I'm um, looking at a new motorbike. Yay. Which one are you getting? Or are you going to um, keep us all in suspense? I'm looking at a uh, Kiwi. RSK. Superlight? RSK. Good bike. You, really good bike. RSK is a great bike, mate. You'll love it. Cheers. So, a great one. And, of course, Mr. Adventure Man himself, Ishi. What are you up for the weekend, mate? Well, I'm taking myself and my chins up to... <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> up to Virtue BMW in Shipley, test riding the F900 and picking my new GSA up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks well, everybody yeah. for being on. If you are watching this on rerun, don't forget, follow the side chat. There are loads and loads of channels in there. Subscribe to Jamie, Pete, your bike has said it. Go and give Sammy down here some more subscribers. Let's get Sammy up to a decent number. Um, the link is up in the side chat. Follow the side chat. Um, follow all the channels on it. As I say, it's a massive community. We're all here um, on a Friday night. Um, if you ever come down to Cornwall, Sammy's just messaging the private. He said, if anyone ever comes down to Cornwall and visit, uh, I'll treat you, treat you all to a meal at Smokey Joe's. That would be good. Um, I am down in now. Let me think. I think it's around about June, July. I am going to pop down to Exeter for the weekend. Um, I've got a couple of friends in uh, Bristol that want a, a little bit of... Uh, a meet up, so I should probably pop down to exit. I might even get a ride down to you, Sammy. So we'll see how we go. Very I'm nice. definitely going to get in the run April 7th. Jamie's coming up to Milton Keynes as long as his operation goes okay. No, the operation ain't until the 23rd of oh, your assessment or whatever. Yeah, if you're good to ride. So yeah, there's a bed to crash at. I'll message you in the um group chat later, PK. All right, I'll just tell you, I'll just tell you, I'll just tell you, I'll just you, I'll just tell you, I'll <laughs> but thanks everybody for coming in thanks everybody in the side chat it's been a great friday night we've had shed loads of people on tonight loads of new channels coming in isaac as well so um, as i say if anybody needs any advice on biking you can message peaky on his uh insta or live streams or whatever or his youtube zed down there drop him a message if you need to know about trail riding um, as I said, I posted his Facebook page up, Ishimoto, yeah. and I think it's Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. If you you have to ride a GTR and you can't go, I shall get an adventure bike next. I was so, I so want that Tiger at the moment, but yeah, it's. You've been after the fucking Harley Davidson for the like, fucking three yeah. years. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can have three, three bikes, can't I? I can you have put, three. Bikes. We'll just put you some nobblies on the alley. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't drive, you can't drive the fucking 1400, never mind the fucking Harley or the fucking dirt bike. Uh, my 1400 runs lovely, <laughs> mate. Oh, <laughs> no. you got, you got, right. He's got them fucking roller skates at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Big losers. <laughs> right, uh, I might keep this for myself now and pay for it. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Right, but thanks, everybody. Yeah, is it? I don't know exactly that. You know, it's only super sausage in back. I don't get enough memory cards for that sort of run. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. But thanks for everybody. Uh, oh, what's GB put? He's like, Rev changed his bikes more than his undercrackers. Exactly. Yeah. You bit. I'm keeping the GTR, but I'm, I'm looking for another bike. I like the Harley. I really like riding that Harley, but I'm looking at I'm I'm getting into the adventure bikes now. I really like the adventure bikes. You can never have enough bikes, Rev. Exactly, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly that. But thanks everybody for coming in. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Peaky. Thanks, Zedhead. Sammy Ishimoto. Thanks to everybody in the live stream. It's been an amazing night. Whatever you're doing, have a good weekend. We will see you Super Sausage on Sunday. And don't forget, Mr. Superstar Peaky Biker is going to be at Super Sausage. On I ain't Sunday. no superstar. Fucking trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, Bob, yes. star. 
If, yeah, <laughs> silkies, <laughs> silkies um, autographs, stickers. He'll charge you two pound fifty, like Missenden Flyer does. I won't charge you for you ask, you ask for my autograph, you'll be assigned yourself because I can't fucking read all right. <laughs> but thanks everybody for coming in. As always, it's been a great one. Be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me. Enjoy the weekend. Take care, everybody. Yeah,